Hello everyone. Welcome to the CRS 10 minute on demand talk. My name is Masumi Dave and I'm the lead scientist for the application lab of GATFOSA USA. Today I'll be talking about a novel approach used to determine the saturation solubility of actives in solid or semi-solid lipid based excipients. Saturation solubility, as we know, is the equilibrium solubility of a solute in a solvent at a given temperature and pressure. Knowing saturation solubility is very important, especially knowing it at room temperature, because it is very crucial in dosage form design. It helps in excipient selection, drug load determination, and in the development of a stable formulation. Lipid-based excipients are very widely used these days as solubilizers, emulsifiers, bioavailability enhancers, permeation enhancers, so on and so forth. Next, I'll be talking about the saturation solubility determination in liquid lipid excipients. Procedure here requires adding excess of the API to the liquid excipient. This mix is then stirred overnight at room temperature. An aliquot is taken and is centrifuged and filtered. This filtered aliquot is then appropriately diluted and assayed for API using HPLC. The major challenge when working with liquid lipid excipients is development of a suitable analytical method. Moving on to the determination of saturation solubility in solid lipid excipients. The challenge here is to determine the saturation solubility at room temperature. Also, the nature of the excipient poses handling issues. The major limitation here is uh, that traditional methods which are used for solubility screening cannot be used when working with solid lipid excipients. So at GATFOSE, we use two techniques hot stage cross polarized light microscopy and differential scanning calorimetry to determine the saturation solubility. Now I would like to discuss an example of uh, how we determine the saturation solubility of CBD in jelly seed 4816 using both HSM hot stage cross polarized light microscopy and DSC. The procedure requires melting the solid excipient which is jelly seed 4816 in this case and it's available as solid pellets using this molten excipient and cbd uh, known concentrations of cbd in jelly seed 4816 are prepared this molten mix is then stored to homogeneity which usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes for hsm analysis the molten mix is plated on microscope slides and covered with uh, a cover slip for DSC analysis, the molten mix is weighed into aluminum pans and covered with aluminum uh, lids which have a pinhole center. Both the HSM slides and uh, the DSC pans are allowed to equilibrate for at least 24 hours before further analysis. So now I would like to talk about a hot stage cross polarized light microscopy in detail. We know that uh, all crystalline materials tend to exhibit birefringence under cross-polarized light. So at room temperature, all the known concentrations of CBD in jelly seed 4816 would exhibit birefringence, which is shown in the image to the left, the first image to the left. As uh, these samples are heated and as you approach the melting point of the excipient, the crystalline structure tends to melt and a complete melt is observed. At the melting point of the excipient, uh, no birefringence is observed, which is indicated by a black uh, uh, blackout on the screen. Whereas at concentrations above the saturation solubility, as you approach the melting point of the excipient, the excipient tends to melt and uh, at, uh, at temperatures above the melting point of the excipient, you would see the drug crystals floating against a black background. The procedure, experimental procedure here requires heating the slides at 30 degrees C per minute while they are uh, observed under cross polarized light. Moving on to our, to our example of jelly seed 4816, um, we observed that on its own jelly seed 4816 tends to show a complete melt at 50 degrees C. At concentrations up to 300 mg per gram, uh, birefringence is observed at room temperature and a complete melt is observed at temperatures lower than 50 degrees C. Whereas uh, at concentrations greater than 300 mg per gram, 
uh, mixtures of CBD and jelly seed 4816 do not uh, uh, completely resolidify. Hence, even at room temperatures, no birefringence is observed. So, based on HSM uh, data, we can say that. Uh, the saturation solubility of CBD in jelly seed 4816 is greater than 300 mix per gram. Moving on to uh, the second technique, which involves using this differential scanning calorimetry for the determination of saturation solubility. We know that melt enthalpy of a neat compound is depressed as a solute is solubilized in it. So, for all the known concentrations of the API in the excipient, uh, we first determine the melting enthalpy and then a plot is constructed of uh, the melt uh, enthalpy versus the API concentration. Ideally, you would observe that as the concentration of the API increases, the delta H melt of the excipient tends to decrease up to a certain point, after which it bounces back. So the saturation solubility of the active lies at the sharp break in the plot uh, that you uh, construct with uh, the melting enthalpy and the API con uh, concentration. The experimental procedure here involves heating the DSC samples from minus 20 degrees C to 120 degrees C at a heating rate of 30 degrees C per minute. Moving on to our example of CBD in Jelly Seed 4816, Jelly Seed 4816 on, it own, on its own exhibits a melting enthalpy of 154 joules per gram. As the concentration increases, a clear downward trend is observed. No melting peaks were observed for concentrations of CBD in Jelly Seed 4816 greater than 400 mix per gram. Lastly, we can say that DSC data suggests that the saturation solubility of CBD in 4816, jelly seed 4816, is greater than 400 mix per gram. I would like to conclude my presentation uh, by saying that uh, saturation solubility of actives can be determined in solid or semi-solid lipid excipients using both HSM and DSC. HSM is a quick an effective tool for APIs uh, for uh, saturation solubility determination. Um, but in this case, you would need uh, a melting point difference of at least 10 degrees C uh, between the API and the solid excipient. DSC is a slightly time-consuming method uh, when uh, sample where, where sample prep is concerned, but is it is very effective in determining the saturation solubility of the actives in solid excipients. At GATFOSE, uh, we use both the methods uh, in some cases individually and uh, uh, at, uh, in, for some cases in combination to determine the saturation solubility of actives. And lastly, I would say, uh, like to say that uh, based on USP standards, uh, CBD is highly uh, soluble uh, in Jelly Seed 4816. And at the end, I would like to thank you all for your attention. Uh, for any questions or comments, please feel free to get in touch with me at uh, my email ID, which is mdave at Thank you.